the concept of enhanced ammonium supply is to increase the proportion of the nitrogen available to the plant as ammonium. Plants can use either nitrate or ammonium, but under normal conditions, the vast majority of the nitrogen used by plants is as nitrate. And this is because soil microorganisms rapidly convert ammonium forms of nitrogen to nitrate. Under warm, well-aerated soils, they earn their living by oxidizing ammonium to nitrate. Nitrate in itself isn't bad because plants can use it, but it is negatively charged. It does not bind to the negatively charged soil particles, and therefore it is subject to losses. It can be leached below the rooting zone. This is where it ultimately ends up in a tile line and in a stream and in the river or under waterlogged conditions, it can be lost as a gas in denitrification. So if nitrogen can be kept in the ammonium form, it can definitely lessen the possibility for losses. Not only does this save the farmer nitrogen, but it also minimizes the environmental impacts of nitrogen fertilizer use. There's a couple of benefits that uh, derive from the plant itself, from an enhanced ammonium supply. When you give the plant the opportunity to take up nitrogen as nitrate or ammonium, that now when there's two potential sources, the plant can actually accumulate more nitrogen. And nitrogen is usually the most limiting mineral element for plant growth. So two forms, twice the opportunity to take up nitrogen. By keeping the, the nitrogen as ammonium, positively charged anion, that allows the plant to take up more other anions. Plant has to take up uh, an anion for every cation, to maintain electrical neutrality, and by supplying some of the nitrogen as ammonium, uh, positively charged, now that plant can take up more anions. Phosphate, sulfur can be enhanced. So this gives the plant the opportunity to better utilize other mineral nutrients. Now, if you look at how plants adjust their cellular pH, they do so by adjusting the uptake of anions and cations. And by allowing the plant to take up more ammonium, positively charged, this gives a better control over the cellular pH. Now, one nuance of uh, the uptake of ammonium is it has to be assimilated in the root and uh, turns into uh, organic forms right in the root. And the root also happens to be the site of synthesis of an important growth regulator, cytokinins. And by having a more nitrogen, organic nitrogen in the root, then you can also make more of this important growth regulator, cytokinin, that's then transported to the leaf, helps reproductive development, helps leaf health. So there's a whole host of uh, benefits from enhanced ammonium nutrition. More an uptake, more uptake of other elements, particularly anions, better pH control, and the uh, synthesis and transport of some important plant growth regulators. These benefits go into better growth, better health, better yield. In our own research with corn, when we can enhance the supply of ammonium over that normally present, we see yield increases on the 10 to 13 percent range, and we see even greater yield increases in wheat, because wheat with enhanced ammonium supplies, tillers better. Tillers are the important yield component. Here in Kyrgyz in the 20 to 40 percent we have observed simply from changing the proportion or increasing the amount of nitrogen available as ammonium.